Well, the significant threat for severe weather is increasing across the country today, Monday, also tomorrow, Tuesday, and even into Wednesday. So let me show you the highlighted areas that we're concerned about. Look right around Chicago. Watch these storms that are moving through today. Also, this afternoon and this evening here from Nebraska, back across Iowa, Colorado, even the high plains here in the Nebraska and Kansas, we could get some very strong thunderstorms with hail, maybe even a few tornadoes. The highest risk for tornadoes will be here, but don't let your guard down up towards the Great Lakes, so over toward Michigan, Wisconsin, even Indiana, northwest Indiana, and a good chunk of Illinois and Missouri, Iowa, southern parts of Minnesota. Watch all of these areas for some rotating thunderstorms that could cause some tornadoes, but let's move ahead into tomorrow. I want to just throw these risks out there really quickly so you can get these in your mind. The enhanced area now is pretty similar to what we were seeing yesterday. There has been a significant change, though, and I do want you to pay attention, too. Look, don't let your guard down further south just because you're not in the bullseye. A lot of times people focus just on this area. It doesn't mean you won't see the potential for severe weather. Even anywhere in this green, that's, a, that's the smallest risk, a one out of a scale of five, but it's not a zero threat. So there's your severe threat, damaging winds, and this is the tornado risk, a hashed out area. That means it's a significant threat here from southern Wisconsin, northwest Illinois, and then back into most of Iowa and northern parts of Missouri. And it's not a zero threat again anywhere really that's colored in. These storms will be in an, a highly sheared environment. There's going to be a lot of instability. With that instability will come hail. So this is a significant hail risk too. And look how widespread that risk is heading into Tuesday. So yeah, we just shift that threat to the east tomorrow. But here is the culprit. It is looking stronger today. We're going to talk about that just a little bit here now. Here's our trough that's swinging through the central United States as we head into Tuesday, sort of setting things up. Out ahead of this, it's going to be super warm, a lot of instability. And I do want to show you today, this is overnight, uh, the overnight run of the European a strongly negatively tilted trough, and you're going to just squeeze that jet streak around that. So out ahead of it on the front right side, that's where you're going to see the strongest thunderstorms with those winds changing as you go up in height. You're going to get that shear, so those storms will want to rotate in that environment. And then as we head into Wednesday, everything kind of stretches out, so our severe weather threat will do that as well. This is the instability. I think this is important to look at because in the environment where we'll see those thunderstorms, not just today, but now we're moving into Tuesday, look how it really increases here across Iowa, also the northwest part of Illinois, and then eventually as it moves across or the storms move across Lake Michigan, they will start start to weaken and it's interesting it's because of the cool waters here of lake michigan that will really end. pretty hot right i mean look at this 80s and 90s widespread especially here where we're going to see those thunderstorms so a lot of instability out there especially with that warmth at the surface then you're going to move that cool air aloft in all right let's take a look at the radar through today here's the storms moving through parts of illinois also wisconsin through the early morning hours some of these again could be strong to severe that's really what's left over from yesterday moving off to the east, or at least some of that system. And then as we head into the afternoon, some of those storms here across southern Illinois, and again, right around, what, say Milwaukee, down to Chicago, some of these could get on the strong side to severe. And then we're looking back here into Colorado through the evening hours as these storms really get fired up. And then into the overnight hours, early morning on Tuesday, look at the storms going here from South Dakota, Nebraska, even into parts of Wisconsin and Iowa. And then as our system ramps up, low pressure starts to rapidly deepen. A squall line likely is going to develop somewhere. And, you know, just because we see squall lines, it doesn't mean we won't see these discrete supercells start to develop. And that would cause your tornado threat to increase. There's low pressure. And then look, here comes your storms heading into Tuesday afternoon. And now we're into Tuesday evening. And this could be a significant squall line blowing through, say, northwest Illinois, Wisconsin, down to Missouri, uh, even as far south as Oklahoma with some damaging winds, hail, and yes, even, again, as we talked about, some tornadoes. Now, this low is going to move into Canada, okay? It, look at the snow back here. Pretty wild, right? Up into Canada, but most of the most of us will be just cool and rainy here across Minnesota. Miserable, it's in some cases, 30s and 40s with showers. But the severe weather threat on Thursday starts to stretch out kind of like this, because this is where our front will be. Low pressure here. This is a very crude drawing. You're going to have an occluded front more than likely. But anyway, your front's going to lay like this. That's where your really trigger mechanism will be and it's going to stall out we're getting to that time of year where these fronts synoptically don't want to push all the way to the south right they kind of make it to about the mid latitudes and just sort of wash out and that's kind of what we're seeing and then the upper flow sort of moves like this and then storms 
will likely fire along that front. So looks kind of wet and stormy here from the mid-Atlantic all the way back into the Central Plains as we head into the weekend with another system moving towards the Great Lakes. And look at the snow and the rain shower still going out west. Pretty wild to see that too. The severe weather threat quickly on Wednesday again stretches east along that front as it moves really into Ohio, right along the Ohio River, down into Arkansas and Texas. And then on Thursday, our severe threat now increasing across Texas as we see that front draped out and, and our next wave of energy moves along that front. So that's where our severe weather threat will be. All right, if you like these videos, I hope you'll subscribe. If you like this kind of content, thanks to everyone who's done so. I'll see you next time.